Sagittarius, Sagittarius, where have you been, Sag? I've been waiting for you. <laughs> you gotta stalk her that. <laughs> No, Sagittarius, I'm serious. Let me sing it again. I can't find you where I last left you. Are you following me to Sagittarius? Or am I just sucking you alone? Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. All right, all right, all right. You want to see me? I want to see you too. Don't worry, baby boo. Baby boo, 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 boo. I'm hearing that as well. Why? Why? Sagittarius is a one. Speaking out from the two of cups. Someone's getting ready. They're getting ready to romance. I'm hearing the news as well. Like the letter that, that they write to this person, like, will, will friggin' like make the letter fall in love as well with the person. I'm hearing that. Like, letter is like, who's this we're writing about? Oh, I want to get to know them. Four stores of right. Okay. Well, first and foremost, well, welcome, welcome. This is your Jupiter retrograde reading. Wow, no wonder. Well, Jupiter is your ruler, Sagittarius. It is uh, in going to retrograde. Okay. It's actually the co-ruler of both you and Pisces. And so there is a focus on perhaps your nature. I'm hearing when it comes to this, to this, to this period of time and the processing of it. So for a number of you, it's something possibly even that you feel... You're, Excuse me, part of the Scorpio. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sagittarius. Oh, hey, you got. I'm hearing you. You got like one, maybe two stalkers, maybe like one person who acts like two people. Okay, maybe they got a little bit of an alias thing going on. All right, don't tell them that I told you. <laughs> I'm hearing a letter T. I'm hearing two T's. I'm hearing that as well. Now, okay, for a number of you, they're like your mentor, your teacher. I don't know what. This is. Let's backtrack. Now, let's clear that. Okay, not for everyone. Not for everyone. Now, I'm hearing a letter M. A. D-E. I'm hearing maid. Okay. Maiden. Madden? Madden horn. I don't know. Let's go about it. I don't know. Okay. So dirt. Whew. You're Jupiter. You're Jupiter. <laughs> Let's talk about your Jupiter. Set germs. We're going on with Jupiter. It's retrograde. We got to see what's happening with that, right? And that is the beauty of the retrograde cycle is we kind of come to this point to reflect and review on that energy archetype. So for you in this case, it's Jupiter and actually for everyone, but more so really for you, it's really, really, really Jupiter. It's like how you also channel though the um, archetype of your chart that is related to the argument of Jupiter. So in other words, it's bringing to attention where your Jupiter is operating in your natural chart as well and how you're sort of, you feel you're in balance in that space. So now let's uh, pull the cards. We're gonna pull here for the pre-shadow period, uh, which started on the 18th of February. And then we will pull for the period of the actual retrograde. And then we will pull your Sagittarius for the period of the post-shadow period. And that will end on the 8th of December. So on the 14th of May is when it actually officially goes retrograde. And then uh, it will technically go direct on... Um, hmm. The 12th of September. I'm hearing that is an exciting day. I'm hearing that is such an exciting day. I'm hearing that specifically for a number of you. So we'll get into it. All right. We'll see here. I'm pulling two cards for each of the months. And then, uh, and then we will move into uh, into the post shadow period again, which will lead from um, so the twelfth of September, October. Uh, to, okay, the twelfth of September into October, into November, then into December. So let's see here what's coming through for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> Remember, there's someone here who's like really wanting to get into contact with you. They got a plan for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> They're very curious about you. They want to know there, but they've been looking at you. Don't even tell me that they wiped the windshield clean. They are still analyzing. I'm hearing your last message to them. These stress. I almost said the strength card. <laughs> Do that card. Some of you dealing with someone who's got like, um, they got like, uh, they got a few characters. We're going to say it in that way. Okay. They've got, I'm hearing a few stories as well that they create in relation to them. They perhaps have also a public sort of side to them. They've got this like public sort of image interface. And then they got this really private perhaps side of their nature as well. They could be a Leo rising for a number. They could be a Scorpio sun Leo rising. I'm hearing that specifically. For a number of you are dealing with someone who's also got a lot of Aries. I'm hearing they're very fiery. I'm hearing, and they go unannounced. I'm hearing in certain situations at certain times. I don't know what that's going to do. You know, it's possibly someone who's like even undercover. Okay. <laughs> now let's jump into it here. February, we have the Four of Swords 
Swords upright in the beginning of the month. We then lead into the second part of February with the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is 2020, but energy is fluid, right? Time and space are an illusion. Always take it as you will. I found that I watch readings and they resonate six months down the line, a year down the line. So take it as you will. Seven of Swords here, upright, and the Emperor in reverse. I'm hearing flashbacks here. I'm hearing at Union Station. I'm hearing Market as well. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, that is in April. Now we then move into um may with the sun of swords in reverse two of cups upright i'm here we're getting ready i'm here we're getting, we're getting ready it's becoming like surreal are we freaking really doing this i'm hearing that as well like oh my goodness someone something about the vision space here is becoming really really real i'm here palpable like i'm seeing someone even writing a letter they're getting ready to, to also launch a project and it has to do with their public sort of presentation there now We've then got here, I'm hearing focus even on marketing, uh, but in June, we got the Mother of Wands upright getting so, so excited about this. The Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm hearing 9909. There could be a focus on the number nine here as well. It's funny because nine is actually the last sort of digit, right, before we reach that double digit cycle of the 10. And, um,